the outrage over Senator Ernie Chambers comparing Omaha police to ISIS. Good evening. I'm Brandy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. Tonight, Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson calls it, quote, the most offensive statement he's ever heard by a public official. And the head of Nebraska's police union says Chambers made a terroristic threat. KETV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts live with the big story. Tough talk from the men and women Senator Ernie Chambers compares to terrorists and why they fear the fallout could mean more than hurt feelings. If I was going to carry a weapon, it wouldn't be against you. It wouldn't be against these people who come here that I might have a dispute with. Mine would be for the police. And if I carried a gun, I'd want to shoot him first and then ask questions later, like they say the cop ought to do. That comment, the head of Nebraska's Fraternal Order of Police, calls ludicrous. Senator Chambers is saying that he would do that. He wants to do that. I mean, it's a terroristic threat. It's something that probably should have the Attorney General of the Nebraska State Patrol look into from that blanket statement he made towards all, all law enforcement officers. Despite angry what criticism, Senator Chambers defended his words to us, saying people took his comparisons out of context. First of all, I didn't say that I would use a gun on police. My, what I was trying to get across are those lame excuses pe police can give after they kill somebody. However, he stands by his comparison to Islamic militants. My ISIS in this country are the police. And that was how that statement came up. And I indicated ISIS has never done anything to anybody in my community, but the police have. A very hurtful statement that he made towards us, to where he's considering us to what most Americans see as the most radical group out there. And he's saying that law enforcement officers fall into that same category in his eyes. It makes you angry. Um, it's, it's, for lack of a better word, it's ridiculous. The Omaha Police Union considers Chambers' testimony disgusting, but says it won't stop their effort to connect with the people they protect. As long as we do what's right, I think we're, and we're standing on the side of what's right, and we'll be okay. But is he a roadblock or at least a pothole in that, you know, ambition for the department? I would say, I would say a pothole, and it's unfortunate that we have to respond to comments like that instead of talking about the positive things that we are doing. Senator Chambers won't back down scolding senators and really anyone asking for an apology. I will continue to condemn the police when they are wrong, and in my community, they are wrong. Omaha Mayor Gene Stothard and Police Chief Todd Schmader called Chambers' statements reprehensible and without merit. The mayor is also calling for an apology. From Chambers' reaction today, that's highly unlikely. Randy, back to you. Thanks, Dave. Ralston's police, police chief stands with Omaha police officers, calling them hardworking, dedicated professionals. Chief Ronald Murtaugh says Chambers' comments are not only reprehensible, but completely without merit, unbecoming of a state senator, and have brought no value to the discussion of police community relations. Well, Nebraska's governor has not officially said anything about Chambers' comments. However, he tweeted this picture today, writing, quote, Promoting respect for Nebraska law enforcement is key to building a society that values the rule of law. Days after his arrest for drunk driving, a Pottawatomie County board member is talking only with KETV News.